before we dive in into our dynamics course, we should be able to explain the significance of unbalanced force. We'll start with a couple of simple questions before talking about unbalanced force. Why normal force is equal to the weight? Let us consider uh, a flower vase. As we all know, without any external force, the only force acting on the flower vase is the Earth's um, gravitational pull downward. That is mass into gravitational acceleration, g, which is um, mg, that is weight. The reason for the vase not free-falling or going through the table or bouncing back because there is an equal, exactly opposite force called normal, normal force balancing the system. This concept leads us to the realization of balanced force. So what is balanced force? Now let's look at the paper boat. So why do you think the boat is half merged? Why it is not at the water surface? Water is not rigid but fluid. It led the boat to displace water and increase buoyant force to balance the weight. At this point, the buoyant force is equal and opposite to the weight of the boat. This is a scenario for statics analysis, where the sum of all force equal to zero or balance. What if there was an unbalanced force? What is unbalanced force? Now, let us take another look to our submerged paper boat. When the paper boat was at the surface, the weight was greater than upward buoyance force. The boat was sinking due to the unbalanced force towards the direction of the unbalanced force. It kept merging until enough water is displaced to equal counter the weight of the boat. Balanced and stable, this is also a proof of the Newton's first law. An object at rest stays at rest and an object in motion stays in motion with the same speed and it is um, in the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. In simple words, we can say there is no free lunch. Without, act, without having anything, nothing will change. Significance of unbalanced force. The reason the strawberry creating a nice splash and drowning is because of the unbalanced force. Summation of force not equals, equals to zero, creating an unbalanced force causing the motion of the strawberry downward, the water removed by the strawberry is less than the weight of the strawberry that's why the unbalanced force is creating the strawberry to drown in the water another significance here the boy needs to overcome the friction force to be able to move the roller now if he applies a force less than the friction force it will be balanced by an equal opposite friction force. Now the boy, if increasing the force on the roller, the friction force will also increase until a maximum friction force of uh, normal multiplied by the uh, static friction reaches, it will keep increasing and beyond that it will start to roll. Now it is clear 
that when the force is less than the maximum friction force, it will not move and as soon as it is equal or greater than the friction force, maximum friction force, it will have motion. Now the question is how fast it will move. Well, the more you pedal, the faster you accelerate. And that is our Newton's second law of motion, F equals to ma. When mass is constant, then force is proportional to acceleration. The more force you give, the more acceleration you will get. This is uh, the Newton's second law of motion. And that was it for today. Uh, we'll talk about more a concept um, in, in future classes. Till then, thank you.